Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. It's time for another handgun showdown where the viewers of this channel decide which manufacturers create the better handguns. This one we are matching up Walther versus Canik. Many fans of each manufacturer and I think this will be a very tight showdown. Some people say that they share technology. I'm really not sure about that. It seems like that in many ways. But I'm looking forward to this. Now before we do that, last handgun showdown was actually a CCW edition and we matched up pocket carriers versus holster carriers and by a fairly large margin the pocket carrier people took that one. So many people pocket carry. Now a lot of people holster carry but they say they also pocket carry quite often and it's just so easy and that was the main reason why so many people pocket carry and I thought that was very interesting but this will be a good one let's start with Walther the Walther PPQ is an amazing handgun it has that cross-directional texturing on the grip very ergonomic it feels great the trigger breaks right around five and a half pounds this one here has a four inch barrel and many people consider this one of the best Palmer frame striker fire handguns out there now what Walther did was take all the qualities that people love here and added it to the rest of their line or most of them anyways and not many people are complaining because they certainly work now here is the PPQ subcompact everything that this has but in a smaller package 3.5 inch barrel shorter grip with mags that carry 10 rounds still has the front serrations easy to dis disassemble the trigger five and a half pounds very nice trigger pull people rave about the walther triggers as do i it also has a rail for accessories three dot sights nice overall feel it will accept the larger mags from the other models and that uh the ppq m2 that i just showed so it, it's very versatile and it I, I find it to be extremely accurate. I hold this one in high esteem. Here's the Q5 match. Competition gun. Same cross-directional texturing. Excellent feel. Same 15-round magazines as the PPQ M2. And the trigger pull. Okay, you can see the blue trigger there. Is breaking right around 5.5 pounds. Sometimes 5.25 pounds. But the reset is right there it does have some slide cuts to lighten it up this is a competition gun fiber optic front sight adjustable rear sight optic ready ambidextrous slide stop and when i take this gun to the range it's incredibly accurate i love shooting it it's got the five inch barrel it disassembles the same way a simple design but the design works and if you're a fan of walther handguns you would love this now a lot of people love the steel frame model as do I, but I've got the polymer frame model, and that grip is just so comfortable. Just love it, and I think Walther has a winner in all three of these models. Genic handguns, otherwise known as Canic handguns, offer more gun for the money than just about any manufacturer out there. It really is unbelievable. Everything from the features included to what is offered in the case, including holsters, cleaning kits, uh, you name it. Canic offers it for a budget price. This one could be purchased for under $400. This one right around uh, five and a quarter to five fifty. But here is the TP9 Elite Subcompact Canic smallest handgun with a 3.6 inch barrel magazine that holds 12 rounds they also offer another that holds 15 rounds you can see it has a beautiful gray tungsten cerakote finish there it is optic ready many people move it in that direction and canic delivered loaded chamber bar serrated black rear sights front dot both metal striker fire indicator a rail front serrations and a trigger that i'm measuring right at five and a quarter pounds with a very short reset also has an ambidextrous slide stop but at the range it handles just like all the other canic handguns like a full-size handgun it's very nice very accurate smooth shooter it's been reliable for me i've run a variety of rounds through it and it has performed very well i'm very much pleased with it and i think that canic did a great job with their smallest handgun but over here we have the tp9 sfx this is a competition gun clearly a full-size gun now the magazine is labeled 18 rounds but it has that plus two base plate for 20 rounds 
in the magazine and that is really good it'll also work in the tp9 elite subcompact you can see that it does have slide cuts there similar sight system serrated black rear sight fiber optic front sight here and front serrations very nice trigger pull I'm measuring right around five pounds with this one and an extremely short reset all together it's a very nice gun 5.2 inch barrel by the way for a competition gun now Canik says that they offer everything in the case that you need to hit the range and begin competing on day one after purchasing this gun I've owned it for over four years now and it has performed excellent it also has that tungsten gray Cerakote finish I love the TP9 SFX and I think Canik does a phenomenal job with their pistols so there it is Walther versus Canik be sure to weigh in in the comments as to which company you feel makes the better handguns and I'll add them up and report the results back with the next handgun showdown if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe